Welcome once more to Reflections. And today I just want to sound a note of warning to us that we must be careful. We must be careful how we live our lives. We must be careful how we live our life. We must be careful. We must also be confident that God will have our back. We must be careful and how we live. And we must be confident of the love of God and that he will have our back. So I don't want you to ever be a part of those who uh, speak um, against God, who say, I don't know why God has done this. I don't know why God has done that. Uh, I know that um, in our day and age, anytime anything goes wrong, if there is... Um, if there's a natural disaster somewhere, people will say, ah, why did God do that? It's only when bad things happen that people who don't know God remember him. He's the one who does all the bad stuff. And the bad guy is always right there. Um, you know, um, how do they say it? He, he, he's right there, but he never gets the blame. God never does anything bad, but... Um, we, we ask him to stay out of our business. Um, and then when something bad happens, we ask him, why didn't you get into our business? You know, we want him to be in our business when we ask him to get out of our business. So today I just want to say to us, we, let's be very, very careful. Let's be careful how we live our lives. Let's ensure that God is with us, that we are we are doing those things that we are living a life with him, a life in his presence. Because when God is with us, when he has permission to be in our lives, when we open the door for him to get into our life, then he will have our back. He will have our back. Don't be like those who say, ah, a war is going on somewhere. Ah, why is God so wicked? Children and like, don't have food to eat. It is God who, who has done all of that. No, no. Because when we tell God to stay out of our business, he stays out. It's the devil that comes into your business whether you invite him or not. If you don't invite him, he will come. If you don't open the door, he will get crushed. And that's what he does. That's what he's doing everywhere destroying, get crashing into people's lives, get crashing into nations, get crashing into, in, in, into families, into communities. Whether or not you invite him, he will be there. But when you tell God, just do your own and let me do my own, and then you come around and say, why did you allow this to happen? He's going to ask you, did you tell me to get out of your business? And this is one of the reasons why we must be careful how we live our lives. If we live our lives discountenancing God, not paying attention to him, not paying him any mind, we just do our own things as if, you know, um, casually, uh, God, you are there. Okay, then I see you. And then you just go on and do your own thing. Then don't ask why when things happen. Now we would, you will tell to me, but good, bad things happen to good people. Yeah, they do. However, God has their back. God has their back. God has their back. When something bad, something bad, we say something bad, we think it is bad. God has their back. He knows how to help them. He knows how to comfort them. He knows how to pay them back with good for what the devil did bad in their life. But when you do not have God in your life, the devil will play games with you and get away with it. And there will be no one for you to run to. No one to help you. No one to comfort you. No one to strengthen you. No one to take the bad that the devil did and somehow continue to walk in your life 
and make the end story of your life a glorious story. I have good news for somebody listening to me today. No matter what havoc the devil has wreaked in your life, I want you to know that God is able to turn situations around. Be confident in the love and the goodness of God. And you will see God getting your back. You will see him confusing the devil. You will see him making the end result of your life a glorious one. Be encouraged. God is with you and he will carry you through and you will have a wonderful testimony. It's for me, Obila Noege, and it's Reflections. See you tomorrow for prayer. God bless you.